I don't feel like I've reviewed a 7 in quite some time. And it's colorways like this. Which is why. Hey, what's good guys? My name's Chris. Welcome back to the official WearTesters.com YouTube channel. Today we got a detailed look and review on the Air Jordan 7 and what's known as the Sapphire colorway. They do have a matching box, which is cool always however i don't know if the price is like matching or whatever of the product but these i don't even know if i should say it because you guys might click out of the video right away but these joints retail for 210 bucks ah! the new game shoe doesn't even retail for that and there's they even took out leather but you know whatever the Air Jordan 7 is a great model. It's just that some colorways like this one are not my thing. This version in particular, I do find to be interesting, but I just don't, like I don't want to buy one that's like this personally because I know what they'll look like later on and I'll explain why in a minute. So with all that being said, we're gonna put these aside for just a moment as we bring you a quick word from our sponsor. And that is the good folks over at Soul Premise. Soul Premise apparently is a, a brand that some of you guys actually know about prior to our little promo things with them, which is really cool. Not because you already know about them, but because you guys are already a customer of them. And so we have other people commenting, being like, yo, I've been having them Soul Premise bags and they are legit, just like you say. So I like that. I like it a lot. I really only put promos in our videos that we stand behind and that we believe in. This is one of them. This is the daily backpack. One of the things that I love outside Side of just the materials that they use are actually the colors this is just a neutral color i love gray but they have like more outlandish colors they got reds they got university blues they got really cool yellows all kinds of neat stuff so if you're into stuff like this and you wanted something that was really great quality at a really great price because we have a promo code which is wear testers yes it is and that will get you a significant discount how significant you ask click the link in the description box and find out just in case you want to know what's in my backpack it changes all the time good old laptop and everything and then we got two pairs of sneakers in there so we got some uh ajko's and a couple of different colorways and everything they fit up to a size i believe 15 so if you got a really large foot you could do that and again the bags are super nice quality it's a great product i stand behind it 100 percent and with that being said look at that outsole man this is beautiful i love this outsole, this one and the sixes might be my favorites. I love the way that they've done all of their outsoles on the majority of their older shoes, their retros and stuff like that. This one is just one of those ones. I love all the color placement, it looks mad 90s. I just really dig it. On top of that, this particular outsole is super interesting because it's a mixture of translucent and solid rubber. So the peaks or whatever you want to call them, the mountain peaks and stuff, well, these peaks are actually painted, but underneath them is clear rubber and everything. And I think it looks really good. I do like the gray tint as well. I really like when they tint the clear outsoles with a color, whether it be on the Air Jordan 11, the Jumpman Pro, the Jade Fives. Love it, man. I just really dig it when they do something different like that and it looks great. The midsole itself, I believe is Phylon nowadays. I'm pretty sure that the originals might have been polyurethane. This model in particular, the Air Jordan 7, is one of those shoes that they actually technically pro trode without like doing it on purpose. Like I don't remember the exact reason for it. All I know is that the way that they manufacture this shoe nowadays versus back in the 90s is is a little bit different and I've never seen a pair of sevens crumble so that's usually like how you can tell if the midsole is polyurethane or if it's an EVA which would be Nike's Phylon. Phylon or EVA does not crumble whereas polyurethane is a really open celled type of foam and that will crumble. I have not personally seen a pair of Jordan 7s crumble. I'm sure that it's possible. All I know is that these guys are super comfortable. It's because of the tech that's inside them. This particular shoe actually has full length air. In the original, I believe it was encapsulated. So that means that it would have been inside of the midsole uh, where like it's not visible or you can't touch it or anything like that. Whereas in these new retros, it kind of looks just like this. It might not be the exact unit, but it'll look like this where this is technically their full length units. This is basically what is underneath the strobel board. So typically in the original Air Jordan 7, all of this would be filled in with polyurethane so you could not see the unit. But in these retros, it's exposed like this. So when you take off the insole and if you were to cut off the strobel board, then underneath it would be this air unit. And yes, that does make this a little bit more comfortable than the originals. On top of that, I feel like an Air Jordan 7 is a great shoe to play in. If you love low tops with the feeling of a high, similar to a Kobe 9, where you get that proprioception thing going on, this is that shoe. Time out. What? 
You love my hoodie? So do I. Jeez, I'm so glad that you guys were asking. Yes, this is part of our brand new launch for Sense Apparel. It's kind of a play on the taxis, but also loosely tied in with the newest version of the shoe, which I was not a big fan of because I would have rather have had taxis. So we did uh, something different because I think that black and white or white and black can go with anything. And I really like gold with navy. I like it muy macho. Also, these hoodies are not going to be as expensive as our other ones. Our other ones are premium, heavy duty, embroidery, all that stuff. These ones are more for spring and early summer, so they're a little bit thinner. A lightweight hoodie with uh, just screen print on top, but still got the cool ass. I love this logo, man. It looks so cool. And it'll pair well with stuff like this. Not this particular shoe, at least not in this particular colorway. I'm wearing my Midnight Navy 6s right now, and I think I look fresh. How you doing? Now, as far as the build is concerned on this particular shoe, I love a lot of what they did with it. I don't like a couple of things. So the things that I don't like right off the bat are just these little screen mesh areas. I don't know what to tell you. I just personally don't like it. The reason why I don't like it is because of what it'll look like later on. So this mesh is kind of like a TPU or a plastic. It'll yellow over time. And if you guys don't like the yellowing of like an Air Jordan 4 netting or an Air Jordan 5 netting, probably won't like that on this either. I believe that this was first introduced with the PSG 7s. So I could be wrong though. I could be for forgetting about something because when I don't like something I typically don't pay attention to it and that's kind of what this is like I, I had to look it up being like what were those anyways because I forgot what the name were the, that was like a shelf sitter which I think is good everybody should be able to go in the store and grab what they want when they need to but one of the things I actually do like about it though is that the uh, Jumpman logo is kind of like a what do you call this stuff isn't it gel? I want to call it gel, but I know that like a gel uptempo logo is more like gel. This is kind of like a plastic, I guess. I don't know. It's a lovely decal. It's like puff paint or something. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just a cool feature. I do like it. They actually have that on the tongue as well. The Air Jordan logo is not stitched or embroidered in there. It's actually like that plasticky stuff. I think it looks good like this I really like so not all changes are bad in my opinion it just kind of depends on what floats your boat one of the things that I do really like about this side netting though is that you can see the Hirachi sleeve within the shoe so I do like it in that sense where it's like kind of like getting a sneak peek under the hood so I dig that however the rest of the materials on these and rightfully so for 210 bucks they should be great right they're not great but they're very good for jordan brand standards so we actually have a really nice leather build which is also done up in nubuck this uh exterior i don't even know what color this is man it's like a tan color or something it's really weird and it feels very funny but you can actually see the grains of the leather like within all of the cuts so it's an actual leather not premium but it still feels really nice the coating on it reminds me of durabuck where it's kind of rubbery feeling but not super rubbery and then the underlay materials like the toe this uh i guess this is the sapphire color Color? I don't know. Like it's like a weird. What is that color? It's like blush. It's kind of pinky, right? I have is sapphire whole, the blue? I have a whole problem with the name of the shoe. Hold on. Let me see if the, I think the sapphire might be blue. Saf, a blue sapphire, sapphire is right? blue. Okay. And that's purple. Not, no, it's not. Yes, it is. <sighs> Who's colorblind now? That is a it's Barbie sneaker. Then maybe that's why I don't like them. They look, kind of look like a women's shoe. Not that that's bad. I like some of the women's colorways. I guess I can see a little bit of purple, but I guess it's not true sapphire. But I think it's close enough. And I do like how. It looks with the pink and everything like that. I, I just don't like that pink. It's like a weird pink. It's almost like skin color. It's strange. You're talking about the base of the shoe? Yeah, this right here. The one that I pointed at. I thought you were pointing at that teeny tiny pink that was poking out from the outsole. No, no. If you really like this, I'm not trying to rain on your parade or anything. I think that everybody should like what they like and own it. But that's also goes like the opposite. If you don't like something, don't be rude about it. Just let people know and try to explain why. I actually can't explain why. It, just, it doesn't work for me. The insole is uh, actually not ortholite, but it's not good either. It's just this cheap crap. For 210 bucks, okay? I know I typically don't like to include pricing on things, but when we are going to be seeing an increase in pricing across the board on all of these models, and again, these models are retailing for more than the current game shoe, the pinnacle of performance, if you will, just because it's a retro, just because they can, just because they know that you would want this over the Air Jordan 36, I think that's kind of to do to your fans. Trying to increase those profit margins by increasing the prices of the product that you know is popular, I think is a low blow. If you want to increase your prices, increase your prices on the shoes that are costing you more to make, which would be the game shoe. The one that you have to do a ton of R&D and wear testing and new tooling molds and sourcing materials and making new tech and all, like, I mean, that's expensive so like i don't know why you would raise the price on the stuff that you know people are buying unless you're going to increase or up the ante as far as quality is concerned and that should include the inside man like this is a this is no good i have spoken 
But again, the shoe looks cool. I love the Air Jordan 7s overall. I think that they're a super great shoe on and off court. I love the little booty thing. I love that 23 on the back. I think it looks fantastic. This colorway in particular, personally, not for me, but if it's for you, I hope that you enjoyed the review. I hope that you enjoyed the breakdown. I hope that you enjoy the shoe and the materials that they're made out of, because I do feel like at least the build is going to be kind of worthy of the pricing, even though it's kind of not, but you know. For 210 bucks, you can get something a little bit higher quality. I'm just saying, this isn't as good as it could be for the price. But you guys feel free to let me know what you think about these down below in the comment section. Are you interested in these? Are you not? Are they right alongside the PSGs where you're like, nah, I'm just gonna let those things sit on the shelf, maybe when they reach 150. Also, big thank you to our sponsor once again, Soul Premise. If you were interested in checking out anything that they have to offer, make sure that you click the link down below in the description box or the head over to their website where you can check it all out. Make sure to use our promo code too. You don't have to, but if you want to save some money, that's the way to do it. Thank you once again for everything, and until next time, guys, have a good one. Oh, also, I don't know when these are dropping yet. We're going to figure it out, and we'll let you know soon. So for right now, it's just to be determined. If you follow me on Instagram and all that stuff, or follow Sense Apparel on Instagram, you already know. You've already seen the sneak peeks.